Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ginger. Our channel is called Just Ginger's Love of Disney and it is such a true statement. I love Disney. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please consider hitting the subscribe button. Stay around for a little while, but only do it if you love Disney content and if you love looking at people who are a little goofy because I'm your gal. Um, if you guys are returning, thank you so much for being part of my family and thank you so much for being patient while I took my little break. Now, I told you guys I'd tell you a little bit about it. No, I told you to tell you about it. There's not a lot to tell, not a lot of details I want to actually give, but I'll share that with you right here as I open a Prezi. Now, you guys know Michelle. She's over at Raising a Disney Princess. Anyway, she is my best friend and she knows that I've been kind of down in the dumps and I'm trying to crawl out of it and she sent me a just because Prezi. Okay, so about a year and a half ago or less, I don't know, Jason and I split up. We remained amicable, uh, I thought. Um, and then all of a sudden it's time to do the official divorce thing. And I just really, I mean, I know it's over, you know, it's over. No, no hard feelings, whatever. Um, but it just, it got to not a pretty place and I had to do things that I never thought I would do, like hire someone to look out for me and my best interest. Anyway, um, again, I'm not bad mouthing Jason or anything. I'm just, you know, so it really got me in a bad place. Like I was depressed. I was sad. I had no self-worth. I thought I was a bad person and I feel like I want to cry, but I just could barely muster the energy to come in this room, which is my Disney filming room. Everything in here is happy to me. And when I thought I was just worthless and well, I couldn't even bring myself to come in here without feeling so much dread and it just got really bad. And Michelle was right there with me. Well, a lot of people were and they were always encouraging and stuff. It was just really hard for me to get out of. Um, I'm not out completely, but I'm here and I just did a live the other night, my first live in months. So it was nice coming back. And if you guys could see this room and all the stuff I have in it that I need to open for you, I think I'm gonna try to be around for a while. I'll be honest with you. Some of the stuff in here is like probably a year old, but it's gonna be new to me, so I'm excited. All right, I got me some box lunch and I got, what? All right, let's get into it. Why did I look at the invoice? Now I kind of know what's in here. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, okay, first it looks like there's a pin here. I love that you cannot tell what it is. Not really, I mean, I hate when they put stickers up here. Anyway, so let me open this. Um, anyway, so you guys, I was like just going through the motions. I was going to work, I was putting a smile on my face and I was doing my stuff, going to work. And then I would come home and pretty much just, and I was not happy with myself. So uh, that's what it's been. I was having a hard time just even walking into this room because it's just so much joy. I mean, okay, aside from the messy Halloween things we've got going on here and I just pushed most of my gym shorts to the side of the shelf, not thinking you guys could see them, but clearly you can't. This is all a work in progress. We're working on it. Um, it brought me so much joy to come in this room and I when I came in here in the last six weeks, two months, it hurt. So I just didn't come in here. You guys, this is the cutest pin ever. Look, by the way, my shirt, it says boo. You my little boo thing. And I can't, I don't have access to my ears because there's a lot of my stuff still over at Jason's house. And now he doesn't want me to come by and get it. Again, I'm not trying to speak ill of Jason. He's just doing what he got, he's got to do and protect himself. I don't know. Does he think I'm going to come rob my own house or whatever? 
Michelle. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but look at this bag Michelle got me. <laughs> oh, woo. Look at that. All right, let's come up there with my little, ooh, you my little boo thing. My, okay. So look at this, you guys. It is the Minnie Mouse acorn. She's still got her little ear protection on. Look at that. She's like a candy corn. Oh, okay, so how do you guys eat candy corn? Do you just pop it in your mouth? I mean, if you eat it at all. Me, I literally will eat a layer at a time. So I eat one and eh, eh, and then I eat the other one. Uh, look at this. I love this yellow lounge fly placard. I love what would be like a corseted little top for her. Over here, you've got your candy corn pockets, which what do we put in here? We put in our crystal light or we put in our Weilers, which are the same thing. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, and there's something on the back here. Well, hello. Okay, so I totally need like some acorn ears or something. Acorn, candy corn. All right, let's pull out some of this packing. Okay, so one other thing that's been kind of going on with me is you guys know that when I, when Jason and I were together, we, we were pretty good. We had great income, so on and so forth. Uh, about three years ago, I got hurt at work and I have a torn labrum in my hip, which is like the connective tissue that kind of keeps things moving in there. So that's torn. I have some compression in my back and I have permanent nerve damage down my leg. So. I cannot go back to my original position because there's just no way I could walk. Um, as it is, I have a hard time walking right now, but I'm making do. Um, so I took a position that fits my needs and it's only part-time. So Jason and I split, so our income split and I was off work already anyway. Uh, anyway, so I, now I'm living with my sister and that's fine, it's perfect, but I only make part-time wages and so my spending has had to curb because you guys know I used to be able to be like I want that bag I want that bag now I have to be an adult and I have to pay rent and I have to uh, live and try to buy all these beautiful things on a part-time budget okay so that was a little depressing too because I used to be able to just buy, 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 buy whatever I want now I really can't but look at the inside there's like candy corns and just little the little orange Mickey's, oh, that match this. Well, I don't know if they match, but I'm gonna say they do. Oh my gosh, this is like the cutest bag ever. <clears throat> I don't know, um, but did they put out a Mickey that would match of some sort? Boy, you really gotta keep the stuffing in this one because it looks like her face starts to pucker a little bit, but I will put the stuffing back in this in just a little bit. Uh, Michelle, thank you, this is so sweet. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys have any questions about what's going on, feel free to instant message me and I'll share that with you. It's just a lot of details here. Basically, I went from having all sorts, not all sorts of money, but being comfortable in my income or the house's income to, and so I was able to buy anything I wanted. Then all of a sudden, fast forward to now, I'm working part-time, I'm supporting myself, and I have to pay for life and to not be able to buy something that I want is very humbling to me. I mean, I'm not rich by any means, and I never have been, but I have to really curb my spending and I'm not used to that. So that made me a little sad too, because all these beautiful bags were coming out. I wasn't getting any of them. So Michelle, thank you for getting me a brand new bag for the holidays, my favorite time of the year. By the way, Halloween fall, favorite time of the year. What is your favorite time of the year? Tell me, and tell me why. Mine is because it's warm and cozy. I'm not talking about pumpkin spice. I don't like pumpkin spice, but like warm and cozy and fun and scary all at the same time. And I really love the fall colors. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna keep you here much longer. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope it wasn't too scattered, um, but basically it was to show this off and say thank you so much, Michelle. I appreciate you and I love you dearly. And um, I will talk to you guys again because I have a boatload of stuff to unbox. 
All right, remember, whatever you do, do it safely so you can always come back. Have the courage to be kind. Just be kind. All right, see you on the next one. Love you guys. Ta-ta for now. Smooches.